All right, let's set you up in FX Replay. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click R. So I'm gonna open up and create a new session. You can create either just a straight up back testing session or a prop firm session. If you really wanna mimic the prop firm environment, then you wanna go prop firm session, you're gonna be held to those rules. So that's great there. If you wanna just go regular back testing, you just go here. So let's go new session. Let's select an asset. So your USD and we can add multiple. So GBP USD too. Now let's select the initial date. So this is basically just going to be when your session starts and you're just going to go to the end date, but I'm just going to use auto update end date. So essentially what that's going to do is when FX replay gets more data in, it's going to automatically update your end date. So then you don't even have to touch it. You can just continuously use the same session. And so let's go to create session. Perfect. Now that we're here, we want to set up a couple different things. So firstly is the indicators. I'm going to go into the indicators button and you can see that FX replay has community built indicators and we're going to continuously build on these as we go forward. So let's just look up our custom ones. So I'm going to use the round number right here by FX replay. Perfect. And now I'm going to actually set up my go to. So I'm ensuring that my go to is working properly so I can go into the custom settings here and you can see that Really, I don't really need any of these. I'm just gonna only use New York because I only trade New York anyways. So that's perfect. I can turn all these off, but you could see that there's a lot of different options here. Um, I can make sure that, hey, I, I wanna skip Saturday and Sunday. I don't really wanna skip to those days uh, if there is data available. So I can save that. And now anytime I open up my go-to menu, you could see that I'm gonna just go into the New York session right there. Now let's open up the news panel. And in the news, I wanna make sure that I just have the United States going, the future uh, news events and only high impact. You can see here that um, it's only on Tuesday, August 5th that we have the uh, PMI, okay? So that is great there. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fast forward and the way that I fast forward is either by clicking this button here or using our, our shortcuts using control space. Super efficient to use control space. So I would recommend using that. If you wanna just play, you can, crank this up to whatever, however many uh, candles you wanna skip by, so two times per second, and I can click play right here, or Alt-1 or Option-1, and you can see here that it'll start to play just like, uh, you know, just straight up the candles like that. If you want to uh, desync the chart, you can turn this off, you can put this to say five seconds, so it's gonna sync basically, this one would be five seconds per, per second, so you can see that the, the candles are gonna load very much like this uh, in, in real time almost, but we can go down all the way to the one second on certain uh, assets. So just keep an eye out there, but I'm gonna pause, I'm gonna resync the session so you can see that the time frame is gonna sync up with the chart time frame that I'm on. It makes skipping and moving very easy when you have this selected. If you wanna go back a candle, you can easily just go back here or use the shortcut just like so. Or if you wanna go back to a specific time like this, you can go back like that. Okay, so really great options there. Let's skip forward, let's skip forward. Say for example, now I wanna enter a position. So I'm gonna enter a position long. I'm gonna click buy right here. I'm gonna put my target up here, up into this big figure. And now what do I do? I can either click place order or I can use our shortcuts and you can select whatever type of order that you want. So I am personally gonna click option M to enter a market order. I can click O here or click save, whatever one I want on my keyboard or uh, save and journal by clicking K. And so you can see here, I'm gonna set it to a 1% risk. Everything is automatically calculated. I can set up an auto break even. So after you know one hour, I can go to uh, automatically break even and click save. So there we go. Now it's time to use our skills here and click control space, right? And let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Let's see if we can get up to our target. Okay, so we get up here. Let's move our stop up into break even. Let's take a partial profit right here and let's close out 75%. And we can add in actually another position here, but instead of using the position tool, we can actually use our quick entry tool right here. So say we wanna use five lots and I can either click buy or sell or use the shortcuts, whatever I want. And you can see here guys that now the orders come out like this. So we have our um, stop loss and take profit orders just like that. So we got stopped out there, no problem. But just like that, that is how you enter uh, in FX replay. If you want to enter just with a right click, you can simply right click here, click sell or buy whatever you want. And it's going to do the exact same thing. You put your stop loss above there, take profit below there, click forward. And then there we go. So we got stopped out again, not the best demonstration on how to trade, but that's besides the point. So that is everything in FX replay. If you guys want to journal a trade, you simply click uh, enter your order. You click save and journal. 
we are going to be adjusting all of this, guys. So just keep an eye out for the new changes in the journal. It's going to be a lot easier on the back testing side. But essentially, you can take your screenshot directly in here. You can add your tags right here. You can put your confidence, you can put your trade rating, you can add your notes, you can click save, and ultimately it's going to be in there. By the time the trade is closed, it'll update for you. Now it's time to go and view the analytics. So I'm in a session that has more data. You can see my analytics is set right here, my performance side. I can go into the simulators and I can run the scenario and I can start to see, hey, how should I actually trade? What risk to reward should I actually trade at? And you can see here that my current risk to reward is actually highest in profit, highest in profit factor, and best in drawdown. So if I wanted to increase my win rate, I can just go to a one R instead of a 1.5, but I would reduce my profit. So this is just a quick way to really understand how well your trading is and what you should be doing uh, in, in regards to risk to reward. And finally, guys, is our drawdown. So you're going to see how deep you go into drawdown uh, and how far you went. You can see the max drawdown. You can see the average drawdown. You can see how long in days it takes to actually recover from drawdown and also how many times you went into drawdown uh, uh, on the course of this whole entire session. And if you did a prop firm session, you're basically just going to be in this prop firm tab. And you can see that the prop firm simulation is going to be a little bit different. You're going to, it's actually going to feel like a prop firm. So just so you guys know, we have that as well. And guys, that's not it. If you want to journal your trades, you simply just go over to the live tab. You click your trading accounts, you add, and you can sync your trading accounts here. You can go into your journal. You can open it up the day or open up the journal. You can add your trades, add your screenshots, add your notes, add your tags right here, and simply analyze your performance on your live accounts. So here you go. Here's one of them. And you can see here that I have a tag analysis running here. I can say, hey, which sessions do I perform well in? Oh, look, pre NY. And so this is something that I set up myself and that you can set up whatever custom tags that you want. Apply the smart combo, which is our AI, our smart picks, and it will find and go through your data and find which tags go together, which ones don't which ones to avoid, which ones to use. And it's going to create a strategy that you could replicate and use going forward that is going to really filter based off of the total return or the highest win rate, whatever you want, whatever you want to optimize for. And boom, you have everything that you guys need here. So this is how to use FX Replay. Jump in, go start using it, and let us know what you think. I'll catch you guys in the next.